actually just thought I'd give you a little bit of an update between uh, recordings and parts. Just doing a little bit of a prep work on here. So let's show you what I've done. Is I've um, taken bits off the sprues because before I um, do any priming on here, basically what I've done is I've uh, just been tidying it up. I've also done a little bit of rescribing for where about some of the filler was, and for that I've got a um, it's got some little covers on that a little dental tool, which was quite good just to get in there and just um, scrape out any of the um, filler that got into some of the, the panel lines which was here and there. So essentially that was ready for priming. You can see I've got the cockpit on there masked up and uh, the canopy masked up ready to go. I was about to do the priming and then I thought actually there's a few other bits that will need priming at the same time but uh, they were still on the sprues. I did consider priming whilst on the sprues but um, some of these are a little bit small and fiddly and do have some flash and need a bit of tidy. So what I've done is I've taken all the bits off that I need, um, laid them out. Uh, there are some very, very small bits, which are like the pitot tubes I've just left on here and I've just left on that part there, but essentially got rid of most of everything else. So for example, landing gear parts I've put in their respective boxes, uh, covers, those sort of things. So I know which ones, especially which ones are numbered for left hand and right hand. I'll just move actually that would be easier just to do that and here with the various weapons and the pylons I've also um, put those in their respective boxes so I can clean them up make them as sub assemblies and then give them all a prime and uh, a paint all at the same time that I'm doing the main aircraft uh, I've made a little bit of a start on the tidying up effectively I'm just working my way over everything that's on here and and then once it's all together i'm going to know which bits are what anyway and build those little sub assemblies up ready for priming and putting on now i've got everything all cleaned up and rubbed down uh talking of cleaning up i've gone over the uh, mig 29 itself with some ipa so if i'll just bring you down there so uh just a little bit of um ipa isopropyl alcohol and uh, just rubbed it over just to take off um, any grease. I'm now wearing gloves, now I've got that on, so that's sort of degreased, take off any, uh, basically from all the rubbing down and hopefully just give everything a good a surface for the primer to go on to. So priming, what I was gonna do is use the AK Interactive White, uh, so this is the, uh, the micro filler. Uh, I've been using this quite a bit for a few things recently. I was actually going to use one of the um, I, I do quite like the uh, what's it called the Mr. Surfacer ones the um, 500 or the um, 1000 sort of with a bit of self leveling thinner and I do find that gives a really nice finish however because this is going to be quite light uh, I thought what I would do is I'll go for the white primer uh, and that way I can put some panel lining on and then the lighter grey skin go over so that's purely my choice on that one uh, just purely for the the color of that because with the with the digital camo and lots of mask sets that's going to be going on there we need to make sure that we've got a really good primer on there so we don't put the paint on and then peel off the mask and then take the paint off with it it's really important we get as good a base as possible so that's why I've been rubbing down with the IPA and uh, really going to make sure that we get a good misty primer on there and um, get that layered up right so let's get some uh, paint in the airbrush and uh, let's get going.
got the primer on and for that I use the AK Interactive White and then also giving it a bit of a um, pre-shading with the MRP Black. I've used that one because that's quite a thin one um, just because I didn't want to take off any uh, sort of detail on there and once it's gone down I've actually given it a sand over with a quite fine sanding stick just trying to get into all the little grooves there and then also finally giving it a polish as well so um, that's really sort of smoothed it down that has also muted the, uh, the panel shading a little bit so it's probably not quite as sharp actually I don't mind that's fine because you don't want really sharp crisp lines on there but crucially it's now given it a smooth surface and what I've also done is I've just on some bits of kitchen roll popped a few little drops of IPA the isopropyl alcohol and rubbed it over mainly to act as a tack cloth to get off any sort of dust um, so still got sort of pre-shading on there and the next job is to get on the white paint so we're using the off-white that's the ICM acrylic paint 1028 and this is going to be the main top surface over which the uh, camo deco um, the camo camo e either as decals or as the mask will go down on uh, so we'll be doing that also as well um, I'll re-blow in the air intakes uh, as well as the uh, the bits that are going to be masked, the sort of gear bays, those sort of bits, and some of the internals, some of those bits also, will be getting this off-white colour. And uh, the nozzles at the moment, I've just sort of given them a coat of the black as well, just to act as the primer, just so then we can get the metallic paint on those. So uh, get that out of the way, but let's get a bit of the uh, white in here and just get really that top surface, um, get that top surface done and hopefully just a light enough so that it will cover it up and maybe just let a little bit of that pre-shading show through. now masked up so got some of the you can see some of the uh, the pre-shading still coming through on the top part uh, that was on the off-white which was using the ICM uh, 1028 I've now got myself stuck to there so if I flick it over now I'm going to be doing the base color which I have worked out is going to be um, top side, underside is D on the Foxbot instructions, which is 1033, which is the uh, 103 yeah, three, three Sky Grey or ICM. So you're going to do that. Now, previously, I've been painting using the Vallejos uh, for the airbrush thinner and flow improver. What I've decided to do now is to actually go old school and uh, dig out, it's been a few years since I last used this, the X20A acrylic thinner. So I'm hoping that this will do. I've already mixed it up. Um, as I say, just with the, the Vallejo stuff, I just didn't seem to be getting the consistency that I want. I mean, it worked, as you can see, it's worked. and um, But wasn't quite the consistency that I wanted and maybe I'm just not getting used to these paints so let's get in the spray booth and let's get some of this we've got a few bits down that will need painting as well
So I'm going to take off the masking because the next part will be to basically essentially reverse this masking so we can do the top side. So let's see how this goes. Quite a lot of this was just to get over, make sure we don't get overspray. And to be honest, it probably wasn't really needed over the wings as long as I'd kept the airbrush pointing at directly at it. But for the sake of a few pieces of tape, it can save disappointment later on when you realize you've got a, a blob of the darker color, especially with the digital camera scheme. You want to make sure that we keep that top area as clean as possible. So pleased with how that's going so far. And uh, yeah. I think the next stage is going to be getting that digital camo mask on.